So I have been using the S23 Ultra for quite a few days and here are some hidden features that you might not know. Now starting with the first one is going to be the performance mode. You will be able to switch your performance profile to a light mode which was actually introduced first in the Galaxy Z Fold series. But it's here in S23 Ultra and essentially it's going to give you a better battery efficiency and more cooling over the performance. So you will be able to choose now and it will give your battery boost. Next in the list is just like the iPhone you can now separate a subject or an object by just long pressing it. Although you cannot drag and drop it just yet but you can copy and paste in anywhere. Or you can share it directly with your friends and colleagues via different apps or you can even directly save it as an image in your gallery. And the same thing can goes with the videos as well. So just push in the frame, long press on whatever it is that you want to cut out and you will be get the same option. Again just make sure that it will be running on the native Samsung player app. Next there is a brand new battery widget that gives you a real time battery levels of other Samsung Galaxy products that you own like the Galaxy Watch, the Galaxy Birds or even the S Pen. Go into widget section, go into battery and you will be able to pull out this brand new widget but do note that the battery levels of the Galaxy Birds will only be shown if the S23 Ultra is actually connected to your phone. Next in the list is you will be able to decide where do screenshot and screen recording got stored. Like by default they got stored in screenshot album in the gallery but you can change that so I can just change it too. Let's say they should always go into documents, right? And now if I take a screenshot, I go into my files and I go into the document folders and I will see the screenshot there. And just in the same section, you also able to decide where should your screen recording to be stored. And speaking of the screenshot, you also get a take screenshot toggle. Now if you click on the label, it will give you access to all these settings. So it's a lot easier to get these settings and obviously if you tap on the buttons, it take a screenshot, which is not a big deal. But getting the access to this setting is now a plus point. You will also have to pull out and take the screenshot toggle and place it along with the other toggles just to use them. Now in the S23 Ultra you also get to decide which app can show content on your lock screen. So earlier you can either show content or hide content but now you get the flexibility of choosing the apps that can show content on the lock screen. So I think that's a great security and privacy features and it's here. Now even within the camera app they have added more functionality. So in pro mode you now get the option of saving just JPEG, just RAW or both. Earlier you could either save both photos or just the RAW photos but now you can just save the JPEG as well which is a nice option. Another update in the camera app is that the pro video mode you now have the option to record a high bitrate video. So if you are going to pro video mode then into settings and then into advanced video option then there is an option to shoot in a high bitrate only for the pro videos and you just have more information that you can then color correct even better. But whether these settings actually improve your color correction process will have to be seen. Now next when you are recording videos you will get an option to record video of the same quality but with a slightly reduced file size. It's called prioritize video quality which will reduce the file size by 40% of course at the cost of the quality. But with this option you will be able to reduce file size without compromising quality. Also you can now go into expert draw mode from directly within the camera app and of course you still need to have the expert draw app installed on your phone but it's just a clean quick way to access the expert mode which is great. Next just like the iOS for every mode that I choose I can have a different set of wallpapers applied to the home screen as well as the lock screen. So in case of sleep that's my home screen wallpaper and that one is my lock screen wallpaper. Now setting up is really simple open up your setting tap on the modes and routine then choose the routine that you wish to choose a wallpaper for and then you can choose one for the lock screen just like that and then you can tap on the home screen and then choose a wallpaper for the home screen. They could be same they could be different that's all up on you. Lastly along with the battery widget they also added a new Bixby widget and now once you place it you can long press on it and then go into settings to change the way it looks. If you go into settings you will be able to choose the theme like white or black and you also able to change the opacity to make it look nicer and aesthetically more pleasing. And additionally you will be able to choose four functions of your choice whichever one you think you are gonna need more and then just hit save. Okay guys these are some of the hidden features of the S23 Ultra that are coming for this year One UF 5.1. I hope that this video has helped you out in some way. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe because some amazing content is coming. Peace.